seems every year the American public is faced with a scare, a food scare. Last year it was spinach, this year it's the tomatoes. Let's see if we can really find out what's going on. Tomatoes linked to a nationwide salmonella outbreak. The source of the outbreak has been traced to Florida and Mexico. And health investigators are heading to farms in both places this weekend. 552 cases have now been reported in 32 states and in Washington, D.C. Getting to the source, let's speak with the farmers. Yes, this is June the 17th, 2008. Checking the tomatoes and praying for rain. Tomatoes. As a precaution, restaurants and grocery stores are pulling certain tomatoes from their menus and shelves. While the Food and Drug Administration searches for the outbreak, the source, it says grape tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, and tomatoes still on the vine are okay. Yes, I'll tell you. Right here. Well, when you go to buy these tomatoes, now how do you know whether these tomatoes are hybrids or, or, or heirlooms? Or how can you tell whether you have good tomatoes, whether the damaged tomatoes? Tell me, I don't understand that. You got to know the varieties. You know, what is an open pollinated variety, a non-hybrid heirloom variety, and those are the ones that you choose. Um, whether you're buying the best way is to get seeds and make your own, grow your own plants. If you buy them from the store, you have to look at the label. It will tell you on the label if it is a hybrid. And generally the early ones are the frost resistant ones or the disease resistant ones. These are all hybrids and those are the ones that you want to avoid. Uh, we remain on the Food and Drug Administration safe list of tomatoes. Uh, Georgia grown product has not been implicated with outbreak. You should still stay away from red plum, red roma, or red round tomatoes, unless they were grown in Georgia or seven other safe states. A link to that list is on WSBTV.com. You know what's going on? Now, these are all naturally grown. You don't have to worry about salmonella or nothing else. I just have to explain to you how I feel. That's, that's, that's salmonella, that's for culture. It's a bacteria that grows without of the chicken waste. So it's not just in the tomato, it's probably... It could be in any form of fresh produce products. Mm -hmm. You know, cantaloupes, watermelons, whatever. I mean, it's used as a fertilizer. So the thing is to know what you're using and how to spread it, how long to let it sit, and to tilt it. These are some young tomato plants here. I have tomatoes at all ages and stages. So we can have t tomatoes probably on up until about maybe November. This is what you call tomatoes up the yang. I just have to explain to you how chicken byproduct, which is basically chicken manure, chicken waste. Once they clean the chicken houses, they take the fertilizer, which is the chicken droppings, and they spread it over the soil. The only problem is if you don't give it time enough to dry or the sun to bake it before you tilt it into your soil, you can't tilt it in long. It's got to be spread it and sit there, you know, six to eight weeks, and then you tilt it in your soil. You know, you find that a lot of a lot of southern growers use it. It's a safe product when used properly. But you know, you can't use raw chicken waste because eventually that's where the problem arises from. So that's the problem. That's the problem. All right then. Okay. Simple as that. In the 1970s, scientists discovered a way to artificially alter and transfer genes from one organism to another. A flounder, for example, survives in the cold. Scientists could now take genes from the fish and insert it into a tomato. Why? They wanted to create a tomato that would be more frost resistant. Genetic modification involves altering an organism's DNA. This can be done by altering an existing section of the DNA or by adding a new gene altogether. Whether it so is the, the fertilizer the right. or genetic okay. altering, this leads us to know we must get back to growing our own food. Stay tuned to WACP for the best and the rest of your life. For we are creative people. Checking the tomatoes 
and praying for rain.